Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Tal Flittermouse. Today we have a shotgun slug made in Australia. What? They have guns in Australia? Yeah, they have guns in Australia. Now this resembles a foster slug being nose heavy, but it doesn't have any of the rifling ribs on the side of it. We tried to come up with a name for it, but that was just a big failure. What? I'd have called them chaswazzers. Hi guys, Denver from Brisbane, Australia with some cool new slugs for Jeff and the guys to test. Um, I've started off with the standard Lyman one ounce mold and I've converted it to this new hollow point design. As you can see, it's just under 500 grains. Uh, the original one ounce Lyman mold is 475 grains, but because of the heavy alloys that I put in with the lead, it boosts the weight up to just under 500. Now I load these into these clear shells with an overshot card, um, nice and neat. They look like factory and they shoot very well. I use the uh, standard hand crimp to put the roll crimp on them and um, it works very well. I find it works better than the drill press ones. So to the guys over there in US land, have fun shooting these and hopefully you can come up with a cool name for these cool new slugs. So what Denver did, he used the lineman slug as kind of a blank and he created a special die that, that he put on his hydraulic press and then created entirely new slugs with that die. Now I asked people on Facebook to give these things a name, some kind of cool and catchy that's really Australian and what I learned was that <laughs> um, you shouldn't ask the internet for advice like that because the, the names and stuff were some of them were kind of insulting I didn't want to insult the entire country of Australia so I don't know <laughs> no name a few weeks ago we did a single test shot of Denver's slug to check a powder load on the laser now this was shot of a smoothbore shotgun, no spin at all. And to me it looked like it was pretty good and the accuracy was acceptable. Now Denver thought we could have shot it at a little higher velocity, so I put 40 grains of Hodgkin's long shot in this sucker and we'll get it up to 1625 FPS. Good afternoon and welcome back to the Tau Flater Mouse channel. Wait, what? This just in, I guess we're not wearing our wife's clothes. Okay. All right, after my little unfortunate wardrobe malfunction, uh, we're back here with uh, regular clothing. Today we're going to be trying out again uh, Denver from Australia. He sent us these uh, non-rifled slugs straight out of Australia. And we're going to give them a try today for accuracy. We're shooting the Weatherby again today with a red dot sight. However, we've screwed in a uh, little Benelli rifled choke. So we'll give them a try smooth bore, smooth slug, and smooth slug in a rifled bore. Let's get to it. Okay, I'm ready. Here we go. Here we go. You clipped it. You clipped it. Yeah. Okay, block on the right. That one smacked it good. That one smacked No problem at 25 yards, but 50 yards, we had some problems. It's hard to tell here, but it kind of looks like the slug is maybe tumbling through the air. Maybe your eyes are better than mine. But prior to this, Greg did miss a couple of the shots completely. 200 yards! Oh my gosh! Wow! Okay, we pulled the target to about 15 yards away, maybe even closer than that. But you can see the slug is kind of waggling around. And it's nowhere as stable as it was with that test shot that we took a few weeks ago. And this wasn't even a solid hit. It grazed along the right side of all our gel. <laughs> so I went through all that gel and then... Hit the vest, knocked the block off. Here's what we found inside the vest, carrier. Okay. Oh, you can, you can see the rifling on there. That's yeah, good. A little deformation, but. Yeah, really. 
it even though it uh yeah you can see my markings on there still it was a good wallop too recoil wise yeah there's a hole going through it now i don't know that's odd We took another shot at the gel. This time it looked uh, a lot more stable. You could see the slug rotating through the air and uh, it was a little more dead center. Yeah, it must have hit the the orange paint on the vest. Well, the viewers at home can see some of the laser still still stuck on there. <laughs> the laser. I think, well, it was one it, of It had to hit that Maybe orange paint. It was that one. Maybe it was that one there then. Okay. This was Michael Yaz. Um, That's true. Yeah, the, printed because, the needle. Yeah, it left that uh, thing. Okay. And there's no real damage back there other than paint transfer. But smacked into our wood here. And whether they can see it home or not. Through a vest. Left a little Kevlar imprint on the block of wood. That would have been your body right there. That's how much Ouch. force. Ouch. After going through the gel. All right. We screwed back in the uh, little cylinder choke, so we now have a smooth bore instead of rifled. We're going to give these smooth slugs through a smooth bore a try, see if the accuracy changes at all. Anytime you're ready. Boy, that was smoky. Anytime you're ready. Now these slugs are about five grams heavier than a one ounce slug, and Greg did say that the recoil on them was a lot harder than a foster slug. And look at that plate spin around. It spun around like a coin. Okay, let's see what one of these slugs will do to our block of clay. Wow. wow. Well, there goes your clay block. <laughs> yeah. And it's not like this is brittle or anything. No, that's pretty damn flexible. That's tough stuff. Yeah, rip awesome. that thing open. That's... I thought that would actually uh, keep the clay inside, but it didn't. Oh yeah, 33 grams going 1,625 feet per second. That does some damage. I didn't expect that plastic container to rip like that. There was clay all over the place. Even a piece of it came back and hit me in the shoe. <laughs> Unfortunately, we looked all over for that slug and we couldn't find that one. Now just for curiosity's sake, I loaded one of these in a federal target load, and this should be traveling around 1,200 feet per second. All right, Cylon, 150 yards. There we go. <laughs> didn't light. <laughs> I'm surprised it didn't extinguish it. Look how much stuff is there. 150 yards. <laughs> hey, you can see that from a airplane. Christmas out here. Look at this. Covered in snow, still on fire. Here. Yeah, it didn't didn't light. We couldn't didn't here. reach. Romulan Cylon got bukkakeed here. <laughs> and then look at this. Look at that pouring out of that uh, slice. Oh. Uh. Even cream madness. Now we definitely had a lot of problems with these slugs. Not with that first test shot that was only going about 1,400 something feet per second, but with these uh, slugs that are charged to 1,625 feet per second, we started having a lot of issues. Now this shot going only 1,200 feet per second hitting the shaving cream cans, it, uh, it was probably the more accurate slugs that we shot on this day. So that's just another clue pointing in the direction that I just load these things too hot and these slugs just weren't very stable at those higher velocities. Uh-oh. Oh! Wow. Well, we didn't get much of an explosion, but... You, you hit the Cylon. Well, hindsight and retrospect sucks. I wish I would have kept these things at about 1400 feet per second 
and we could have had much more awesomer results. But I hope you still enjoyed this and maybe learned something. Thanks for watching. And thank you, Denver, for sending these. Oh, look at that. I mean, it, look how it's still tunneled through there. Yeah. Chew right through there. Like a little beaver slug. Yeah. Beaver slugs, by the way, is the name of my new, uh, <laughs> my new Taylor Swift tribute band. <laughs> And that one hit kind of low. Two, I was aiming for center center of the block. Dropped about uh, okay. four or five inches. It could be you or, I don't know. It's hard to say. And then you'll see out there in the dirt too, the one that clipped the wood skipped out across the sandy road. Okay. And knocked down several pistachio trees. Oh yeah, you gotta worry. everybody's always worried They're about They're very concerned about the trees. <laughs> trees, tree lives matter. Yeah.